Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Written in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A happy and blessed Easter to you all. Today, throughout the world, the traditional Christian churches observe or celebrate Easter Sunday, a holy day of celebration. Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday, as it is called, is a festival and a national holiday commemorating the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, his victory over the grave. This memorable occasion occurred on the third day after Jesus' crucifixion by the Romans at Calvary. It is the conclusion of the Passion of Jesus, preceded by Lent, a 40 days period of fasting, prayer, and penitence. Christians in the traditional churches refer to this week, the week before Easter, as Holy Week, which contains the days of the Easter Tritum, including Monday, Thursday, the Last Supper, Good Friday, the crucifixion of Jesus, and Eastertide or Easter season begins on Easter Sunday and lasts seven weeks, ending with the 50th day, Pentecost Sunday. Last week, I asked a group of children age eight to 11, when they hear the word Easter, what comes to mind? The first was kite, then come Easter bunny and eggs. Not one single child told me anything about Jesus, much less the resurrection. I saw this act as a sad one. What was even sadder is that they were all Christians from different denominations. I see this as a failure not for our children but for us as adults. It means we are not doing what we should. We are doing something wrong. The kites and the eggs and family gatherings are good, but we must not move away or water down Easter to just that. Easter is much more than kite, Easter egg, and parties. Let's, as us as Christians, always, and I mean always, remember to teach our children that Easter is and will always be about the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was resurrected on Easter Sunday. This is why the traditional churches worship on Sunday. For us, every Sunday is a resurrection Sunday. And every Sunday reminds us of the resurrection. Early on that first day of the week, Sunday, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb expected to find death. She expected to find the body of Jesus, but instead she found nothing. We have stood in Mary's Magdalene shoes. We know only too well 
what it means to expect death but find new life. We know what it feels like to follow on Good Friday when Jesus was crucified only to be confronted with Easter Sunday. We have stood there looking into the empty tomb with the stone rolled away, experiencing the impossible. The thing is, we don't go looking for resurrection. Resurrection finds us. Jesus' resurrection is about God loving us so much that God is willing to go to any length to find us in all the wrong places. Because like Mary, we go looking for God in the familiar places where we expect to find him. Some of us, we expect to find him in church only. We don't expect to find him in a bar or in certain places that we deem not God-like. But Jesus' resurrection, God find us when we are down and out, when we are at the end of our rope, when all hope seems lost, God rolls back the stone that binds and confines us. God stands waiting with a familiar voice to call us to a new life. He says, go and tell. And when as Christians we refuse to tell others about the resurrection, when we refuse to tell or forget to tell our children about what Easter really means, it simply means that we are not following what Jesus give or say that we should do. Resurrection has no meaning, no purpose, no place, unless like Mary Magdalene, we go and tell it. When she saw that the tomb was empty, she ran back and she told the other disciples, that Jesus was no longer in the tomb. This is exactly what we need to do as Christians. We need to go and tell the world that Jesus is no longer in the tomb. Resurrection has no meaning if we cannot share the good news of Easter to the living world. Resurrection has no meaning unless we are willing to live as Easter people. Go and tell of your life, transformed by the one who healed the sick and cure the lame. Go and tell of the one who blessed the broken and welcome the outcasts. Go and tell that do this in remembrance of me is real. Go and tell that God has work for us to do in our neighborhood, in our streets, in our different villages, and even in Guyana, God has work for us to do. And as Christians, only if we can do this, and I guarantee, if all Christians can go and tell of the goodness of God, then our homes, our community, our country, and even our world will be a better place. Go and tell that God was there. He is there. And God will always be there for his people. Go and tell that God finds us and loves us 
into redemption through Jesus Christ, our Lord. In truth, we can easily say resurrection isn't an event. It is an experience. And we need to share that experience with all. We need not to limit the resurrection experience. It is too great. It is too big for us to keep to ourselves. We are called to go and tell not only with our lips, but also with our lives. We must live out the resurrection. Person must see that joy and that experience of that beautiful day, the resurrection, through us. Go and tell of the resurrection power of God's love and hope. My brothers and sisters, we need to get back to God's word. We need to truly love God. We need to truly trust in him. We need to truly have faith in him. We need to remember that he is King of Kings and Lord of Lord. And if he can defeat death through his resurrection, then he can defeat anything. Nothing is too great or too big for our Lord to conquer. He conquered death. He was resurrected and he lived. Including what we are going through. God can take us through that. This Easter, may you open your whole self, heart, soul, mind, and body to God's inspiring call to new life and renewed love. May you feel God lowering you, prompting you, calling and encouraging you each and every day of your lives. Resurrection is not only about Easter Day. And in fact, in the traditional churches, Easter is not just one day. Easter is a season. So it's not only one day we will talk about the resurrection or Easter. We have a whole season. My brothers and sisters, let us use Easter 2022 to ensure that all who we come into contact with know that Easter is about the resurrection of Jesus and tell them about the good things God has been doing in our lives and what he can do for them. We have seen the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Happy Easter to you all. The Lord is risen indeed. God's blessing.